Today's video is on the problem related to Lorentz series and this topic is from complex power series. Today's video is a very important video because this problem is repeatedly asked a question and I am sure it will be in your question paper and if you follow this video until the end definitely you will be benefited. And let's get started with this video and now we have to expand f of z is equal to 1 by z square minus 3z plus 2 in the region. The first region here is 0 less than mod z minus 1 less than 1 and the second region here is 1 less than mod z less than 2. See, it is very clear that f of z is given as 1 by this is z square minus 3z plus 2. Now, we, we need the factors for, it, for this. So, the factors for this z square minus 3z plus 2 can be written as, so minus 3z can be written as minus 2z minus z plus 2, clear? So, if I take z common from these two, this will be z minus 2. If I take minus common, this will be z minus 2. So, if I take z minus 2 common, so from these two, so what remains? This is z minus 1. Therefore, we can write f of z as 1 by this is z minus 1 into z minus 2 clear. And now I am going to resolve into partial fractions. So this can be split into this is a by z minus 1 plus this value b by z minus 2. And how to resolve this into partial fractions. And now we need the value of a as well as b. This is 1 by so this is z minus 1 into this is z minus 2 can be written as if I take LCM for these two. So this will be z minus 1 z minus 2. So a into z minus 2 plus b into this is z minus 1. So now I can cancel the denominator. So if I cancel the denominator 1 is equal to a times of z minus 2 plus b times of this is z minus 1. Now for getting a and b values put z is equal to put z is equal to 1. If I keep z is equal to 1, what happens? 1 is equal to a times of 1 minus 2 plus 0. So, this is a times of minus 1. The value of a is equal to minus 1. So, after getting the value of a as minus 1, I need the value of b. For making b 0, so for making b 0, I have to keep this one. Put now put z is equal to 2 here. So, for getting b value, I need a to be 0. So, put z is equal to 2. So, this will be 1 is equal to 0 plus b times of this is 2 minus 1. 1 is equal to b. So, the value of b is equal to 1. So, I got the value of a as well as b. Now, I need to put the values of a as well as b in this equation. That is in this function f of z is equal to a value as minus 1 by minus 1 by z minus 1 and b value as 1 by this is z minus 2. So, I have substituted a value as minus 1, b value as plus 1. So, this can be clearly written as 1 by z minus 2 minus z minus 1. Now, we have the condition here. The first condition here is 0 less than mod z minus 1 less than 1. See, for this First condition 0 less than mod z minus 1 less than 1 or f of z after going through the partial fractions. So, this is nothing but 1 by z minus 2 minus 1 by z minus 1. So, in this condition what will be the expansion? See, here z minus 1 can be written as 0 less than mod z minus 1 less than 1. So, clearly z minus 1 I am taking it as w. So, z is equal to this is clearly 1 plus w. So, 1 plus w. So, this is nothing but 0 less than w less than 1. See here. So, this is 0. So, this is the point circle center 0 and uh, having radius also 0 and this is 1. So, this will be the circle. So, this is 0 and this is 1. So, this is the point circle and this is the circle with the radius 1. Now, what will be the region? So, this will be the region. So, z will be here inside. So, inside. So, z is here. This is 0 and this is 1. Clearly, so this will be the z. 
so here you have to remember one point see this is circle c1 z is equal to see here with center 0 so this is a c1 and this is a c2 and this is the region so this is the region inside the two circles therefore f of z is analytic so this f of z is analytic clearly on the two circles that is c1 as well as c2 and throughout the circle and throughout the region between the two circles clear f of z is analytic on c1 c2 and within throughout the region between c1 and c2 and z the region w here so the w lies within the two circles of c1 and c2 so this is a concentric circles these two are concentric circles this is the point circle and this is a circle with radius one and f of z is analytic on circle c1 circle c2 within throughout the region between c1 and c2 and z is so here i have taken w so w is within this region within this region between 0 and 1 and now let's go into solve this one so for solving this one see there is a simple logic f of z is equal to this is 1 by z minus 2 by 1 by z minus 1 so i have to transform this in terms of w so what is w here w is nothing but z minus 1 so i am transforming this as see i am writing this is z minus 1 i need w in terms of w i am writing z minus 1 and in order to balance plus 1 this is minus 2 here also i need z minus 1 there is z minus 1 keep it as it is and f of z is equal to this is 1 by w this is minus 1 minus this value is w clear see here so here is a logic so w minus 1 so compare this w and 1 so which is greater so here is 1 and w is within 1 so w and 1 so which one is greater 1 is greater so i am taking this one common so i am taking minus one common this will be one minus w and minus so this is clearly w minus zero so comparing zero and w so which one is greater one w is greater one so w is within the Lorentz series and therefore i am taking w common so clearly it is one by w see f of z is equal to so this will be minus one minus w inverse minus 1 by w clear so this is f of z is equal to minus if i expand this one this will be 1 plus w plus w square plus w cube plus and so on minus 1 by w so this can be written as minus 1 by w and i'm sending this to the front side and minus this is minus 1 minus w minus w square minus w cube and minus and so on so this can be written as f of z is equal to this is minus sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity w power n so w power n so this is from this is negative sign so this can be written from minus 1 so i am writing this from minus sign so if you keep minus 1 here so this will be w inverse so the first thing erases and if you keep after minus 1 this is 0 anything to the power of 0 is 1 this will be minus 1 so if you keep plus 1 so this will be w if you keep 2 this will come 3 this will come so minus so you have to keep minus 1 times of sigma n is equal to minus 1 times of w part n so what is w here so w is nothing but z minus 1 so z minus 1 so i am changing this as f of z is equal to minus sigma n is equal to minus 1 to plus infinity this is z minus 1 power n for the condition that 0 less than mod z minus 1 less than 1 so for this condition this this will be the Lorentz series expansion Lorentz series expansion so this is related to the region between the two concentric circles this is the point circle and this is the center with one and within the region w lies and this is how we have to take which one is bigger you have to check it out and you have to take that one common that then the problem will be so easy so the next condition here is so what is the second condition here it is zero less than sorry so this is 1 less than mod z less than 2. So this is the condition and after 
resolving into partial fractions are f of z value is nothing but see here this is 1 by z minus 2 minus 1 by this is z minus z minus 1 and therefore see here so in this condition what you have to remember so you have to remember that one that is 1 so the condition here is 1 minus this can be written as z minus 0 less than 2 so here it is very clear that z is the region with center 0 and radius 1 and here radius 2. So, I am writing this one. So, this is center 0. So, with this I have to take 1 as radius and this will be the circle C1. And the next one here circle C2. So, this is circle C2 with radius 2. Clear? And therefore, so this is circle C1. This is a circle C2. 0 is the center. So, the, this is 0 and this is 0 as a center for this circle as well as this circle and therefore it is very clear that this is a concentric circle. So what is a concentric circle? Concentric circle is nothing but the circle having same center but different radii. So here the first radius is 1 and the second radius is 2 and here if you observe z lies within within the concentric circle. So, according to our Lorentz series, so it is very clear that this f of z be analytic on circle C1 and circle C2 and throughout the region between the two circles and z be any point in the ring-shaped region between the two circles C1 and C2. Clear? f of z is analytic on on both the circles C1 and C2 and within the circles C1 and C2 and z is any point within the two circles. So, Lorentz series deals only with the concentric circles and let's get started and therefore, if you observe this one, so what is f of z? So, f of z is nothing but 1 by z minus 2 by 1 by z minus 1. So, it is very clear that z is this one, 2 is this one. So, which one is bigger? 2 is bigger one. So, I am taking 2 common from this. So, this is a simple logic. So, I am taking minus 2. So, this will be 1 minus, this is z by 2 minus. So, among z and 1. So, this is 1 here and this is z. So, which one is bigger? So, z is bigger. So, I am taking z common from this. So, if I take z common, this will be 1 minus 1 by z. Clear? So, according to this Lorentz series, you have to take the region between c1 and c2. So, this is 1 and this is z. So, we have to take z common from this and among z and 2 you have to take 2 common because even on the circle also it is analytic. Therefore, if you proceed z f of z is equal to minus 1 by 2 times of 1 minus z by 2 inverse minus 1 by z times of 1 minus 1 by z inverse and f of z is equal to so f of z is equal to minus 1 by 2 so if you expand this one this will be 1 plus z by 2 plus z square by 4 plus and so on minus 1 by z times of this is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 by z plus 1 by z square plus and so on and therefore it can be properly written as f of z is equal to minus 1 by 2 times of 1 by z by 2 plus z square by 4 plus and so on minus 1 by z times of 1 plus 1 by z plus 1 by z square plus and so on. So this is the final answer according to our region that is 1 less than mod z less than 2. So this is how we have to build a concentric circle and we have to check whether f of z is analytic within the circle on the circles of two circles and among that we have to take common and we have to expand it and this is the most important question if you go through this video and practice definitely it you will be benefited and please practice and pass it on to your friends and this is the first case and this is the second case in the first case first of all we have to split resolve into partial fractions and we have to take the condition the condition one is like this so this is also a concentric circle this will be a point circle and this will be a circle with radius 1 and w is within the region between the two concentric circles and this is how we have expanded and this is the most important question please believe and practice and definitely you will be benefited 
see here this is the second expansion thank you so much for watching